This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Let's talk politics. I mean, we have to. Because Trump won last week. Actually, I saw a great steak restaurant over in the States selling Donald Rump. Oh, I saw is, that looked, too. It looked quite nice. Yeah. It looked with like a, bit a of mushroom sauce. It was a mushroom, and I think it also had sort of uh, like mashed potato as the hair piece on the steak. It's, it's actually a good idea. Yeah, it's quite artistic. Um, so, oh, just on that, just in, it, Joe Biden has basically uh, let Donald Trump into the White House. They sat down. He said, congratulations. This is what Donald Trump had had to say to Joe Biden back. Thank you very much. And uh, politics is tough. And it's, uh, in many cases, not a very nice world. But it is a nice world today. And I appreciate it very much. A transition that's so smooth, it'll be as smooth as it can get. And uh, I very much appreciate that, Joe. You're welcome. Thank you all. Joe's still trying to work out whether he's won. (laughs) Who is this guy? Someone remind me who this guy is. Where are we? Um, So Donald Trump yesterday as well announced that Elon Musk and another fight. (laughs) USA! 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 Um, USA! So Elon Musk and a bio and a biotech entrepreneur by the name of Vivek Ramaswamy um, will be working for him in the Department of Government Efficiency. Right now, the, the acronym the acronym for that is D O G E Doge, which is Elon Musk's favourite cryptocurrency. Dogecoin. Ah. Oh. So he is in the Department of Government Efficiency. What does that even mean? I'm starting what to is- feel this is all, I don't know, kind of like <laughs> set up and rigged. I mean, Dogecoin has gone up, what, 266% in the past month. Has it really? Yeah. yeah. This is disgusting, man. It is disgusting. <laughs> it's like they are taking the P-I-S-S. Hey, guys, we've got the keys to the big palace. Let's have a party. Confusing job titles, 13, 20, 14, or a funny one that you've seen, um, because I just had a mate recently at a marketing company who was asked, do you want to be a brand warrior? What? Brand warrior. <laughs> yeah. Can I be killed in this job? I'll, I'll just look, at, I'll look after some of the brands, but I don't need to be a warrior. No, what do I have to do? Wear it around my neck. How can you, know, you take yourself seriously? As a brand warrior? I actually brought this up with my old man last night. We are having a laugh about Trump. And, and he said that Dad had a mate back in the day at the Norlunga Abattoir who was the head of boning. Okay. <laughs> How do you tell somebody that when you meet them, say, on a first what, date? What do you do? I'm the head of boning. <laughs> It'd be quite, not- I'd actually have a little giggle and think he's cheeky. All right. Well, we don't need mains. Because... <laughs> Isn't there another one as well, though? Isn't the receptionist these days that you can be translated to the director of first impressions? That's right. I like that one as well. Mm -hmm. Because let's be honest, it is. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. When somebody walks in for the first time. Who's the person on mm-hmm. the on the desk? I, I do love a Subway sandwich artist as well. Oh, they're I love artists. Because the artist, they are. Oh, complete art. Uh, Tony in Sydenham, hello. Hey, mate, how are you? Tony, what was the jo- confusing job title you had? Um, uh, I was just, like, browsing through, and then all of a sudden I saw this um, title called uh, The Logistical Relocator. Logistic- so I was thinking, like... Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking, like, what's that all about? Like, The Logistical Relocator. So I asked my mate... And do you guys want to take a guess? See what it is? They're just going to relocate oh, it. See, basically, you're just putting a certain part of the business into another part, aren't you, Tony? Or what's going on? Uh, so, essentially, you're pretty close. Essentially, it's just like a, a delivery driver. You're just moving <laughs> items from one okay. place to another. There it is. Oh, it's business <laughs> to logistical relocator. I thought he said platypus. A platypus. Yeah, he, re- he relocates platypuses. <laughs> Very unique. <laughs> Bim's, Bim's in Bondi. giving us a call from Bondi. What's the job title, Bim? Good morning. Hi. Um, my job title was Director of Luxury. Director Ooh, of Luxury? And what did you do? I know. Well, that's the question. What didn't I do? Um, yeah. everything like that. I basically ran a luxury uh, experiential marketing business. What? Still don't so we, get it. No, I know. Um, it took a while for everybody to get it. So a luxury brand on any of the uh, marketing events that we did. Yeah. Go work the likes of some of them. 
<laughs> Getting every second word there, Bim. I'm still confused. Did you, did you Bim, That's did okay. you, like, did you get to take home some of the luxury? Did they look after you? They offered, yes. I did get a few pieces of some of the, the nice, the nice brands. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. And we like high jewellery event and um, VIP event where we would fly, you know, pop stars in to close shows and stuff like that. So it was quite a fun job. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's not bad, okay. Kate. You would love to be the director of luxury. No, luxury. I, no nice. I wouldn't, actually. It's I want to be the director of... Pop um, stars. Dirt or something. Okay, that's different. I'm the dirt director. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I like being in the garden. Oh, you just, I see the time. Oh, right. Oh, what are you... Th- Man, you just... You <laughs> set yourself up for... I direct you to the... <laughs> Where is it? Far Where out. Is She's busy. She's well, definitely she's busy. dirt. Just around the back. <laughs> that she's really busy. Hey, let's Dead do girl. confusing Dead job girl. titles or humorous job titles that oh, you've sorry. seen. Well, I, I saw an influencer the other day call themselves an image creator. Okay. Mm. I mean, content creator is sort of the brand, the, well, the broader term that influencers well, well, are using now. Well, the radio industry have content directors. Or oh, CDs. That makes yeah. sense. Because they went See. from program directors to content directors because they're more broad if it's content Tapes I'm into Tapes or CDs, it. Kate. Tapes or CDs. Okay. Um, what about, we also have Chief Growth Officer. What does that mean? Well, that's, remember we made the joke with poor Leno because Leno's, what, five foot four? Yeah, I think he's next. Or we said, why don't you go and see the Chief Growth Officer and see if he can give you a bit. I don't know if you can do that in the workplace <laughs> anymore. I think... I think Chief Growth Officer is marketing. Is that right? So well, growth as in no, growth. the growth of the company. Yeah, grow, growth of the brand. Yeah. But marketing? Same thing. Well, it could be. Sylvana's given us a call. Same thing. You are offending people left, right and centre. Sylvana's given us a call from Winston Hills. With job titles. What have you got for us, Sylv? Hey, guys. Hey, you're so funny, beautiful in the morning, beautiful <laughs> company going to work. Love so you. Thanks, Sylv. Oh. I went to Cartier just to have a look. My daughter's birthday mm. uh, proportion anyway. Cartier. So the lady there, all the ladies who serve you are ambassadors. They are the ambassadors of the creation of I Cartier. Like- I don't, I don't oh. mind that. So they're ambassadors. That's they're the face of the brand, and they help That's you, Sylvana. Right. Yeah, yeah, and I guess they're they're really barracking for it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we yeah. would be ambassadors what are we? of content creation. No, we're what not. We oh. Ambassador of content creation. What are we? I never know what to write Absolute on my Absolute battlers. <laughs> we're we're, 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 bra- we're brand warriors. <laughs> We go out there and we Never. fight for our brand at Nova. Never say that again. Uh, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm wearing this red hoodie, man. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.